Now I don't know about you but I long for the days when loungewear isn't the normal anymore and we can start getting dressed up properly again. So I'm really excited to find out what the trends are for autumn and winter. It's just something normal to focus on again. Now lots of the trends that are being predicted can easily be achieved with things that you may already have in your wardrobe and some you can do without spending a great deal of money on. Lots of them are very wearable and you can add these to your current classic wardrobe just to keep it updated and in style. All the major designers show jackets and blazers with belts worn over the top and looped around the waist. This is a really simple style trick that you could do with things that you probably already have in your wardrobe to really keep it looking on trend and it can look really classy and elegant. A black blazer with a black belt looped over the top and some wide leg trousers and a gorgeous bag can look sensational. This look can work with any colour blazer and you could try it with any colour belt too. H&M have a belt that is very similar to this designer one. It would look great over a check or a plain blazer. It's a nice easy way to update your wardrobe for the autumn. This season the chain link trend will be bigger than it has been before. You'll see chunkier chain necklaces but you'll also see lots of chains on shoes, on bags and on knitwear too. If you didn't try the chain necklace over a knitwear last year it's a look that still could be carried over to this season. If you're more into delicate chains you could just try a simple a chain link belt over a monochrome outfit or over a shirt dress. Chunky gold necklace looks gorgeous with a wool dress or with a shirt and a skirt, with a blazer or an open collared top. Or instead of a necklace, try a bracelet worn over a shirt. Or you could just stick with the bag with a chunky chain. Celine and Balenciaga were two of the big designers showing capes and it's a really nice piece of outerwear that can be layered up in the autumn to look very chic and sophisticated. Maybe you already have one tucked away in your wardrobe. If not, they haven't quite hit the online stores yet, but there will be plenty to choose from when they drop the new season styles. They can be worn easily over knitwear for a casual look. They look great worn over jeans. A button up style or a throw over poncho style cape look great. It's a nice wearable trend to try. Checks usually make an appearance in the autumn and winter collections, but this year they're brighter and bolder than previously. Dior, Saint Laurent and Stella McCartney all showcase bright checks and you'll see them hit the high street soon. A bright red check gives lots of impact and looks fabulous with all black. You can wear it more subtly too, just by wearing a bright check top rather than outerwear. Have a look through your wardrobe, see if there's anything you still have or you've forgotten about that you could start wearing again to really refresh your looks. Fringing was seen on everything from dresses to bags. I mean, it's not the most subtlest of trends and not necessarily the easiest thing to incorporate into a classic wardrobe. Maybe a bag with fringing would be the easiest thing to try. Or if you want a really subtle nod to the trend, just add a scarf with fringing. Hermes, Miu Miu and Michael Kors, they all showed skirt suits. I think it's a really lovely feminine style and it can be styled so many ways. Either worn as a matching pair or with mixed prints. You could wear a plain blazer and a patterned skirt or a plain skirt and a patterned blazer. Or you could include the other trend by adding the belt over the top. And it's another style and trend that you could probably do with things that you already have in your wardrobe. Have a look through your wardrobe for skirts and blazers that could be paired together or that you could try with a belt worn over the top. I bet you have lots of things that you could put together without buying a thing. Lots of autumn and winter collections included statement collars. Now it's great if you're at home doing lots of Zoom calls because it can instantly smarten up an outfit but it's also a lovely look if you're out and about too. This trend can be tried by simply wearing a blazer with a bold colour showing or opting for a larger, more ruffled style collar over a knit. To wear this trend you may already have a shirt with a large collar that you could add underneath the blazer or you could wear it under a midi dress. And it doesn't have to be really huge. There are a few appearing online already and there will be a lot more arriving soon. And look out for collar pieces that adjust the collar that you can add under sweaters as I think there'll be a few of those around. They're really easy to add under jumpers and they don't add bulk. 
knitted vests don't sound very elegant do they but try and get the image of frumpy old man from your mind and think more sleek and slender prada dior lacoste and marc jacobs all showed vests they were over turtlenecks with a shirt and tie or a blouse or a white shirt there's lots of ways to make this work in your wardrobe if you are an understated dresser, you could try pairing one over similar colour bottoms to give an elongated look. And you may be quite surprised how good this item of clothing can actually look. Postbox Red is a really hot colour for the next season. Givenchy and Valentino, they both showed really beautiful red evening gowns. This is stunning. I absolutely love this look. And then other designers showed really beautiful red coats. Do you own anything red in your wardrobe already that you could start wearing? I do. I've got a red Zara coat which I'll start wearing in the autumn. Red looks gorgeous top to toe. It's a brave look but it looks fabulous. If you don't have anything red and if you're not comfortable wearing it head to toe, just a red bag could be all you need. Or just a red coat like me. I think it's a great colour for the fall. Leather and faux leather is the outerwear that all the buyers are focusing on this season. Now as well as coats and jackets, you'll see lots of faux leather separates around too. Leather dresses and leather suit can be styled to look very chic. You can buy them now in some really nice autumnal colours. A leather dress can be styled with boots in the winter. Or instead of a dress, a leather skirt always looks good with the knitwear. Either an A-line style or a pencil style skirt. Long line shorts are another option or a faux leather top paired with a skirt could be a look to try. Or if you want to keep it more classic, a leather or faux leather blazer works well with black trousers and is a nice way to incorporate the trend into your wardrobe. What are your thoughts on the trend predictions? Do you think you'll be including any of those into your wardrobe? Do let me know in the comments box below.